U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder says a lengthy investigation into the shooting of unarmed black teenager Michael Brown has found systematic racial bias against African Americans in Ferguson, Missouri. It is time for Ferguson's leaders to take immediate, wholesale, and structural corrective action. Holder's comments come after the U.S. Justice Department said it won't pursue criminal charges against police officer Darren Wilson, who shot and killed unarmed teen Michael Brown six months ago. The decision, outlined in an 86-page memorandum made public Wednesday, states that the officer, who was white, acted in what's described as self-defense. Darren Wilson and the Ferguson Police Department have been under heavy scrutiny since Michael Brown's death. Members of the Ferguson community and others nationwide have engaged in civil disobedience and protests, all rallying around what they call an unjust fatal shooting. The White House is attempting to spin the controversy as a learning opportunity. There has been an opportunity presented for us to think carefully and to actually transform the way that we think about the way uh, law enforcement officials relate to the communities that they serve and protect. The White House's calculated response comes at the same time a report released by the Justice Department criticized the operations of the Ferguson police. The report found that authorities have routinely violated the rights of black citizens and unjustly used fines and tickets to make up budget deficits in the city. I don't care how good of a driver you are, how safe of a driver you are, how nice you are, they're going to stop you again. The DOJ says that the report's findings are not unique to Ferguson and hopes that other cities will take notice and make changes in their police departments on their own. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.